Yes, sir. Please continue. <coughs> so we take Hanuman in over. On my honor. On my honor. I swear that. I swear that. Swear that. I shall practice the teachings of homeopathy. I shall practice shall the teachings of homeopathy. Perform my duty. Perform my duty to my patients and help the sick and whoever comes to me for treatment. May the teachings of Master Hanuman inspire me, and may I have the strength for fulfillment of my mission. Basically, the interest began in the application of Hanumanian fundamentals. And obviously, we will remain adhered to this because it is a primarily we are interested in learning how to apply Hanumanian fundamentals before going into various further advancements. And in these sessions on Saturdays, this will be interactive session because we all want to learn and grow together so that we develop, develop skills of homeopathic prescribing. What do you all say? Yes, sir. So it will be interactive. And yes, one who wants to share will raise the hand and will share the opinion of the self. And we will also help each other to learn, to understand, and to evolve the basic fundamentals of homeopathy. We have group of interns and uh, this uh, coordination is done by Kinjal. Kinjal Gala, are you there? Hello, Kinjal. Yes, sir. You are there, very good. Uh, how many uh, interns are there here? on the group play with you? Uh, uh, sir, I don't know the exact count, but they have joined. Yes, interns can raise their hands. One, two, three. Okay, great. Three. Four of my So here, what we aim is the fundamentals and the basics. And those who are practitioners, there are so many practitioners that I see on the list. They will help uh, others also to have the prescribing skills. Today we have Krishna Mehta with us, an intern who will share her experience of approaching a case, having severe ringworms with uncontrolled diabetes mellitus and patient is only 36 years old female, married very recently since about three years. So Krishna Mehta will join us and for her I am sharing the screen.
just a moment, little bit technical problem. Hello. 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 Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Krishna. So I'll be speaking about this case of severe ringworm uh, in a diabetic patient whose age is 36 years old, as uh, Sir just mentioned. Uh, let's quickly look at her background. One of her relatives staying in Gujarat called me up uh, for taking treatment in a polite uh, way, but in a concerned tone also. Uh, had called up the consultant about her uncontrolled diabetes. Uh, they requested at an early appointment due to the severe concern that they had. It was known that grandfather is severely diabetic who died due to diabetes. Father is also known case of diabetes and hypertens hypertensive. Let's look at her chief complaints now. The consultation was taken on 23rd December uh, 2021. She came with the chief complaint of intense itching in skin since 1.5 years. The location was on the gluteal region, abdomen, inner fold of thigh. She was taking allopathic remedy for this. The sensation, there was severe itching plus three, burning was plus two, and there was no scaling at the moment. Modalities, aggravated by perspiration, fermented food plus two and summer plus two. The amelior amelioration was by winter, ice application plus two and by loose clothes. She also had associate complaints of coriza for three to four days with season change from summer to winter. There was no discharge, aggravated cold direct exposure, just a moment. Sorry for the interruption. So there was no discharge in her coriza. It was aggravated cold air direct exposure, aggravated by rains after getting wet. Also had history of headache, head pain once every two months. Uh, the sensation was hammering plus three as if banging from within. It was aggravated by pressure plus two and also aggravated by noise plus two. It was better by tight bandage on forehead. So here uh, I was a little confused with her modalities. So I questioned her again to confirm her modalities as she said that it was aggravated by pressure plus two, but at the same time ameliorated by tight bandage on forehead. So I questioned her again that how come it aggravates by pressure but you still put tight bandage. So that also gives a kind of a pressure, right? So she mentioned that, no, I don't like somebody touching my forehead and pressing it. But at the same time, when there is a bandage, like a handkerchief she used to tie on the forehead, that gives a milder pressure. So that is better for me. Her past history, she had a recurrent tonsillitis for which her tonsillectomy was done malaria in childhood, 
let's look at our physical generals now uh characteristics were that she likes spicy plus chocolates plus 2 and salt plus 2 dislike for sweet was marked that was plus 2 as well perspiration profuse she was thirstless plus 2 that is only one glass one liter uh, per day she used to have and dreams of traveling in flight looking at her menstrual history uh, lmp was 7 december regular cycles color was dark and staining plus 2 the characteristic of her menses was that the, that the flow increases on the third day with pain and pelvic region that was bearable she could function and do her work there was also clots present on the third day only which was also marked no history of leukorrhea was present now coming to her mental characteristics she was short tempered and used to shout in anger which is a uh, very common right like everybody who is short tempered would shout in anger and this complaint would uh, be in a lot of patients and it in a lot of remedies as well but what makes it characteristics uh, is her reaction is the way the individual reacts to the anger which is what is important to a homeopath so let's look at her reaction to her anger in her anger she wants to sit alone doesn't want anyone around she cries alone stops speaking to even family members if hurt she will even cut contacts her hurt and her anger anger is to such a level that she will cut contacts consolation aggravates her does not want sympathy is what she said so i asked her what situations cause anger to you on that she said if someone says that i am nothing if someone judges me this hurts my ego so that was about her uh, mental characteristics and about this entire case uh so should i continue or i should uh, show her images further हेलो हेलो सर इज देयर हेलो यस सर यस या शो व्हाट इज द एग्जामिनेशन फाइंडिंग ओके सो ऑन एग्जामिनेशन ऑन थर्ड जैन आई रिसीव दिस पिक्चर 22 दिस वाज हर कंडीशन ओके सो द ग्रुप वी वी हैव द डेटा some people uh, may be very clear about the remedy also so what is important is that uh, how do we apply anyman in fundamentals in the case so what is your opinion about this case group i am sure you must have written down the salient features of the case or you want to help them again i have noted sir yeah so uh, i i hope everybody must have done the same yes group can uh, interact in the chat box anybody is having any question now uh, krishna yes uh, uh, do you have any particular experience in this case or something you want to share about the patient uh yes so when she called me uh, it was it was on a holiday i guess and it was late in the evening and uh, we were i think having a lot of follow ups that day also so we were running busy in the clinic as well but uh, as in the beginning i mentioned that her uh, relative called up saying that please take her at the urgent and she has severe itching she cannot work because of that and also her occupation uh, 
uh, I think she's a caterer. So she always has to be near the staff and she already has aggravation to perspiration. So her concern to her chief complaint was pretty much. So on that priority, I took her case up. And the first thing she asked me that I'm taking allopathic medicine already. Uh, but I don't have a uh, marked relief. It's been one and a half year and I'm tired of putting uh, local applications. And uh, can we do something about it? Because I know that homeopathy is uh, a little slow. That is what she mentioned. But uh, I have faith in you. So I'm sure that something can be worked out. So then I went about the data and we took her case. And uh, repeatedly, she kept on asking the same thing that will it get cured? Because she was very concerned about her complaint. One more important point in this case is that uh, she's very obese. She, she's, uh, I suppose, uh, about 85 to 90 kg at age of 36. And uh, she may be having average height of 5 feet uh, 4 inch. So now obesity uh, in the di uncontrolled diabetic uh, case having a, a ongoing uh, ringworm on abdomen. We can see the huge page. Likewise, it is there in all the folds. So now, how to go about this case? Because she is already tired of already tired of so much of uh, allopathic treatment of local ointments and uh, oral therapies and so now what do we understand from the data available so i'm sure that uh, remedy is not so difficult the group of remedies is already there in minds of all of us am i right what are the group of the remedies can you just put down on the chat box uh, Ma'am, can you say about the status of diabetes in this patient? What is the current level of uh, the sugar and uh, control level? So in the beginning, uh, when I took the case on 23rd December, uh, she said that the uh, fasting was 260 and postpandrel was 140. And usually this is her age. And uh, she's HB already on uh, uh, anti-diabetic hypoglycemic drugs. HbA1c. Uh, HbA1c was not known at that time because she had not done it for very long. So these are the data that we had during the case taking in December. Okay, so obviously we like to have reports of various uh, investigations and uh, that would definitely help us to plan our further therapy. Now, uh, this intern has uh, this much data and this other situation. And if required HB1C, she may ask to get the report and uh, then uh, she will also correlate with its uh, importance in the treatment. Because uh, the known case of diabetic and have a certain dermatophytes have a, a prognostic value. That's why I have asked this question. Because uh, absolutely, absolutely right. Yes, uh, that is what uh, you shared in the group. That is uh, excellent, and that will help uh, all all of us especially the juniors, those who have just, uh, they are putting efforts to learn. So now, uh, what are the group of the drugs that uh, we have come across in, through this case? So, Can you uh, Okay, so uh, how to go about? So, okay, lycopodium is one of the remedies. Kinjal, thank you very much. Any any other remedies? 
Yes, Nirobai. Netramure is a very obviously indicated remedy with uh, such a ringworms and uh, hammering headaches. Yes. What else? Any other remedies or we have Netramure and Lycopodium to choose? Bryonia, yes. Yeah, thank you, Nand Kumarji. Bryonia and Netramure once again. So, Bryonia, we have Lycopodium, we have Netramure. So, uh, what uh, I come across usually in the OPDs and with uh, students is that maybe coming to the remedy is not very difficult. Yes, Dr. Vijay, sepia is one of the remedies, so it is not so difficult to uh, think or come to the conclusion of remedy because uh, it is the perception. Main difficulty is about how to differentiate uh, Netramure from Sepia, from Lycopodium, from Bryony. So I'm sure those who have thought of some of the remedies uh, knows that uh, what are the indications. So yes, Dr. Lakhani, thank you. It is the Ignisia, one more added to our group. So we have Lycopodium, Sepia, Netramure, Ignisia, and Bryonia. So now we are grown to family of five. Arsenic, yes. Maitri, arsenic, arsenic alb. I suppose arsenic alb, no? Kya arsenic iodatum. or arsenic self-levum. But I'm sure it is arsenic with arsenic also. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Maitri. So now we have grown to group of six. Okay, so uh, how do we go about and differentiate these drugs? Somebody who suggested sepia. So uh, how would uh, sepia would uh, like to differentiate netramure, bryonia, arsenical? Indifferent to family sepia. Indifferent, yeah, we, that is absolutely right, absolutely right. So indifference to family, what group has to say about it? It is a workshop. It is not. Uh, we are here to share our views and learn from each other. It is a case. Case is one media to for sharing our views. Aggression by consolation is seen in Netramure. Is it also seen in Sepia? Uh, so can we? Uh, uh... Before going to the different remedies, a group of remedies, can we make a totality so, so that it is easy to oh, yes. derive to the remedy? Because uh, yes. the concept is first to make the totality and then uh, think of the remedy. That is an excellent suggestion. Why, why, why uh, totality is so necessary to be evaluated? Your suggestion seems quite good. But why is it necessary that we should first revolve totality rather than going to the remedy? Because when we focus on totality, first we have to differentiate and analyze the symptoms uh, and uh, come to the characteristic symptoms. So once we have a characteristic symptoms, we can make a totality. And after the totality of, of the characteristic symptoms, we 
think about the remedies. Otherwise, the uh, uh, few will think of the sepia is like just a, a, a tinea and there is a sepia, or uh, arsenic like skin complain or anything. So the approach will be different. So if the, the way of totality making will think, uh, decide what kind of approach the uh, individual physician is taken. I think that makes sense because uh, uh, Dr. Manali, Dr. Sneha are uh, joining hands with you that what is to be treated in this specific case and you are just putting across the same idea that uh, first of all we need to know what is the target before shooting the arrow. That is the right thing to do, I suppose. But how to go about it, making totality? I, okay, Dr. Mishra, individualize the case. Okay, so how do we begin? Yeah, Dr. Mishra, why don't you just uh, help us all to understand about individualizing the case, individualizing this case. Hello, am I audible? Absolutely. Please go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, first we have to understand the case and uh, note down all the characteristic symptoms because for the skin disease, so many uh, remedies are uh, you know available. But we have to individualize the person as a whole and on the basis of uh, which we give, uh, if we give the remedy that will act more deeply and we will get you know more uh, deeper level uh, level level of improvement or cure i'm sure this makes sense what what everybody says <clears throat> hello okay bhumika tell yes yeah, sangeeta go ahead yeah, so, so that's why, you know, uh, for any case, I think, uh, you know, totality is very important. Yeah, you have brought three points together, you know. One is you talked about the individualization, then you put across the point of individualizing as a whole, and yes, then you, you said about realizing totality. So uh, uh, we are adding three horses at a time. So now how do we go about Hello? Yeah, Sangeeta. Sir, uh, actually just now I joined. So I, I haven't, uh, you know, uh, heard whole history. Okay, uh, never mind. People will hear, are here to help you. Don't worry. It is great that uh, you have inclination to come forward and uh, share your views. Because so, in my practice, uh, like, you know, I have seen so many case, skin cases where, uh, like, you know, uh, if we give the history on the basis of the totality, that helps more as compared to giving any specific, like, you know, suppose uh, for, like, you know, patient is having burning pain or if you give any specific, I don't think it is working more. Like, you know, but if you individualize the history, case and then you prescribe any medicine that will like, definitely works and it brings one uh, you know uh, definitely very good changes in our patient yeah thank you very much Sangeeta so let us see others who are already there in the case they will put across the data yes sir yes uh, sir and, and uh, you will get the picture of the patient okay yes, sir. so uh, who will come forward and just uh, if you agree to Dr. Sangeeta, then you just come forward and then take up the case. <laughs> hmm? Yes, somebody? Okay. Uh, so, uh, is it that uh, now we are going to the rubrics or we are going for the individuality? Yes, sir. Repeat, please. 
are we now going for the rubrics or bef uh, before that we are going for the individuality i think individuality must be better okay so let us go in that direction then Krishna, can you scroll back the slides to the chief complaint so that those who joined late yes. can uh, just have a look at it? Yes. But meanwhile, we just derive the individualistic features of this case. So our direction is perfect, but how to apply that to the case? Hello, we are 52 present here. So what, what do you want? You want just case to be presented and finish off or we really want to have the Saturday night discussion? Yes, sir. Discussion is good. Yeah, uh, Dr. Manali is uh, putting across her idea. Maybe she is not able to talk and maybe she is traveling. So, Dr. Pankaj, can you just open chat box and uh, put across, across her idea to the group? Dr. Manali, right? Yeah, Dr. Manali. So she said an eczema which is aggravated by heat is better by the pressure. Sorry, better by cold. Mm hmm. Okay. So, uh, somebody can summarize all the characteristic symptoms at one go. Okay, Manali is still again coming back. That he headache, uh, hammering. What else? Yeah, desire salt, Bhumika. Hello. Headache is worse by the pressure, but better by bind, binding it. First less. So we are showering uh, symptoms from here and there in the scattered manner. Now, uh, how do we individualize? How do we... What a process of individualizing. These are the symptoms which are characteristic, right? She is chilly. Uh, Krishna, can you help us? What is the thermal reaction of this patient? Yes. Uh... Thermally, she is hot because mm -hmm. she, all her complaints are aggravated in summer with an intensity of two and also with perspiration. She can't tolerate summer and she is very much comfortable in winter as well as likes ice cold application on the skin and loose clothes. She's usually comfortable during winters. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna. So, uh, thermal is now clear. Oh, Dr. Manali has brought down some point that uh, she's hot, but her she has a tendency to catch cold. She's worse in the by cold and drains.
Nee, what is happening now? Hello, group. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We required to be active. Hello. Yes, sir. Kya ho raha hai? This is the actual problem that we face, isn't it? That a patient comes in front of us. There we have to interact. But uh, in the learning situation, when the case is right in front of us, we wait that somebody will do. And in turn, what happens that nobody does. We all are here to learn. But our learning definition is that that somebody will teach. In homeopathy, what helps us, that what I have seen usually in the practice is that one has to learn by self. One has to help self by taking actions, by interacting, by sharing views. We come across cases after cases and we attend seminars after seminar and passive listening. Has it anytime helped us? That may add to our knowledge, but does it make us active in our actions and does it help us in developing our skill? It is only self-deceit, sir. Self-deceit. Yeah, well it said. What do, can you just explain? By thinking that the person keep himself in dark by thinking at his own part that he is attending, he is spending time, he is around the clock studying books, uh, and uh, uh, listening others' lectures, but as he himself does not uh, participate, he does not know what is the quality of his knowledge which he learned from others. Uh, is his knowledge applicable or not? And when he starts sharing with others, uh, he starts becoming clearer and clearer. The knowledge which he was thinking uh, as uh, quite right uh, in application is sometimes found quite wrong. And thus he, by the passage of time, he starts becoming clearer and clearer. And only that, then he, he be, be, may become a great uh, homeopath, sir. Thank you very much. This voice is so familiar. And it seems that it is coming from Pakistan. Am I right, sir? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because I can't sir. see anybody's name or the face. But I can only recognize through voice. So this <laughs> word of uh, wisdom is from Pakistan. And uh, we value your uh, word, sir. And uh, this will always uh, really uh, help us and encourage us for learning further. So uh, taking the advice of sir, we move further. Sir, sir. Ah, ji, sir, boliye. Sir, aur kuch mujhse kaha sir? Nahi, nahi. Main group ko appeal kar raha hoon ki sir ne jo guideline diya hai, we follow the words of wisdom. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, jekhe main bola hoon na, to phir hi mujhe pata chala hai na ki मैंने अपने को जो बोला हूँ वो कितना अच्छा बोला हूँ ठीक है अगर मैं ये अपने पास रखता आपने मेरी तारीफ की अल्फा मेरी तारीफ से मुराद अल्फाज की तारीफ की तो मैं फिर एनकरज एनकरज्ड फील करूँगा और जो आप अभी अभी बोलेंगे ना मज़िद मैं बड़ा केयरफुल हो के सुनूँगा कि हर हर लफ्ज में हर हर एक अल्फा� मैं एक्टिव हो जाऊंगा मेरी तवज्जो इधर रहेगी मेरे मुझे कोई और ख्यालात नहीं आएंगे तो दिन के काम याद नहीं करूंगा या ये नहीं सोच सोचूंगा कि यार मैं उठके ये कर लूं वो कर लूं तो ये इंटरैक्टिव स्टडी तभी बनती है जब आपस में एक दूसरे से शेयरिंग करें सर जी हम आपके ये अल्फाज को सलाम करते हैं सर आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल आप आप 
इतने सीनियर पर्सन होके आप इतने बड़े कॉलेज में टीचर हो प्रोफेसर हो फिर भी ये आपकी जो ह्यूमिलिटी है आपको जो पढ़ने की जो तमन्ना है और आप में झिझक नहीं है कि मैं जो बताऊंगा वो सही होगा गलत होगा लोग उसको अप्रिशिएट करेंगे नहीं करेंगे फिर भी आपने बताया बस यही बात इम्पोर्टेंट है वी वी गिव अप द फियर ऑफ फेल्यूर और ग्रुप स्टडी में हम तभी कर पाएंगे क्योंकि हमारे पास अभी वी आर फिफ्टी टू पीपल एट वन प्लेस and our time is so important we have to utilize the time in a very positive manner in the direction and we have already already got the direction that we require to identify what is characteristic and uh, making the totality of the symptoms so that we can proceed towards the case aur sir ji main isliye bolta bhi isliye hu ke jo ye jo naye homeopath hai na ye hamara mustaqbil hai inhone hi hamara jo naam hai na aage jo hum ने इनको कन्वे करना है जैसे कि मैं सीनियर हूं या जो भी हूं आई नेवर थिंक माई सेल्फ सीनियर मेरी सीनियरिटी ये है कि मैं इनको लेके आगे बढ़ू इनको इनको अनकॉन्शियसली एंड एनकरेज करूं तो ये है मेरा वरना मेरी होम्योपैथी का मेरी एज का मेरी सीनियरिटी का कोई फायदा नहीं है सही बात है सर इसीलिए हम क्या करेंगे अभी कि पंकज भाई आप <laughs> आपका कैन यू जस्ट कलेक्ट वेरियस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन गिवन बाय द मेंबर्स अबाउट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सिम्टम्स सो दैट वी कैन मूव लिटिल फर्दर और सर ने जो डिरेक्शन दिया और हम आगे बढ़ के प्रोडक्ट की तरफ बढ़े यस तो कृष्णा कैन यू जस्ट क्लोज योर स्क्रीन शेयरिंग यस Okay, so now we uh, go ahead with little actively. Uh, Pankaj, guy. Yes, sir. First. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, uh, take your PPT or notepad and start writing uh, all the contributions that you have received. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Just a second. Can you see the screen, right? Okay. So now just enumerate the things. We have got uh, some symptoms uh, characteristic with regards to headache. Doctor Manali, you are adding one symptom after another. Is it possible that you can uh, collectively put across all the symptoms? Because we don't want to repeat the uh, slides of the case again. Okay. So this is a. Uh, okay, you are making a pair up. Excellent. So if you can share. so uh, this is one controversial point that dr sneha had put across that uh, patient is worse by pressure but uh, tight bandage ameliorates okay so is it usual or unusual hello group unusual sir okay sir ha huh? unusual unusual so this is uncommon hmm. it is an uncommon symptom okay then next one is mensis training that uh, manali has contributed 
Which one, sir? Menses staining. Staining. Okay. Then what is characteristic about skin problem or chief complaint? Itching aggravated by perspiration. Okay, skin is aggravated by perspiration. What else? Quickly. Sorry, again. Amelioration by eyes application, okay. Mm -hmm. Now we know that uh, she has to work with the uh, uh, heat in the kitchen and uh, perspiration aggravates. That is one of the maintaining factor and pole application is ameliorating. In the hot patient, what value will you give to this case, symptom? No. Okay. So, this only uh, help us to define the quality of her thermal reaction. Okay, mm -hmm. that patient is hot. As a result, we find that uh, heat and perspiration aggravate, whereas cold application ameliorate. Okay. One contribution that came again from Dr. Sneha is uh, patient is hot but cold aggravates. Tendency to catch cold. Horiza is worse by aggravation by cold. Oh. Getting wet. So what have we seen here in two symptoms? Headache aggravation by pressure and aggravation by bandage. Coriza in hot patient, which is worse by getting wet in the rain and taking up cold easily. It means what are we getting here is when we get unusual association. So when Two factors are connected by but. Pankaj <coughs> Gai, <coughs> can you just uh, switch off uh, the disturbances? Okay, thank you. So these two things, uh, Dr. Sneha, I, I, I suppose you are pointing to us. And two points are where uh, two things, but they are connected with but. Then it gives unusual presentation that it makes it uncommon. So headache, aggression, pressure, but bandage ameliorate. Hot patient, but aggression getting wet in drain and cold things causes coriza. Co Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sneha Barsaya. What else? Anything of uh, such uncommon symptoms? Any other uncommon symptoms? Okay, we also have uh, something which is characterizing headache. What is that? It's sensation, isn't it? Yes, sir. Hammering headache. Hammering headache. Yes. Sir. As if somebody is beating from within, no? Yes. Hammering within, yes, sir. Yeah, hammering within. So now we have the complete symptom headache, hammering within, which is worse by pressure, but emulation by bandage. Uh, this uh, makes a uh, little more uh, sense. Barab? What else? Staining menses. So this is a what kind of symptom? Menses staining is?
Yeah, Manali has sent a paragraph. Okay, Manali, thank you. We'll go through that later on. So, menses training is what? Hello. Disposition, okay. So, what do we mean by disposition? Disposition is a tendency. Kinjal, very good, very good, Kinjal. So, disposition is a tendency. And this patient has a tendency to have menses which stains. So, then, as a result, this staining menses becomes what? It is characteristic disposition. So what is the value of disposition over symptom? Dispositions are much important than the symptoms. The disposition is higher up than the symptom, provided disposition is characteristic. So now, every time menses is staining, that is part of the patient. So this becomes a, a uh, only uncommon symptom or it uh, defines, identifies the patient? Defines the patient. Okay. So uh, something that defines the patient. How do we classify that? Individual. It is a singular priya. Excellent. Individual. Very well done. So it is a characteristic singular disposition. Okay, so above symptom, the headache, we have put across uncommon headache. What is the value of the singular symptom and the uncommon symptom? Which one has more hierarchical importance? Singular, obviously. The singular symptom is more characteristic or uncommon is more characteristic? <laughs> Singular means single, okay? unique. Singular is something unique to that person, which is which identifies the person. Mm. So obviously, singular is more important because the hierarchy is already given in aphorism number 153. Mm. First comes is striking. Mm. Second comes is singular. Third comes is uncommon. And fourth that comes is peculiar. Right. So peculiar, we get peculiar symptoms, then we have to see, is this peculiar symptom uncommon? If it is uncommon, then we have to see, is it becoming a singular? If it is singular, then is it a striking? So striking is obviously peculiar, uncommon, singular. Whereas singular is uncommon and peculiar. Mm. What group has to say about this? Okay, so now let us then apply the same in this case. That hot, patient is hot, but coriza aggravation getting wet in rain. So how do you classify this again? Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. Is it peculiar, uncommon, singular, or striking? Uncommon. Okay, dimple dry. It is peculiar because it is specific. But uh, Pankaj Bhai says it is uncommon. Why do you say Pankaj Bhai uncommon? Thermal hot hai. Or when rain mein usko aggravate hota, cold se aggravate hota. So, but 
So whenever mud comes, oh. it it makes it uncommon. Mm. That makes it strange. Mm. Right? Mm. So hot, but aggression by getting wet and cold things. So uncommon. Now, if this goes to the level of the tendency, then it it can be raised to the level of the disposition. Mm. So, Krishna. Yes. Is it a tendency of the person that? Uh, Is it a tendency that whenever she gets wet in the rain, she is likely yes, to be paralyzed? Yes, it's marked by her, but it is recurrent and it occurs every two months. And uh, it is majorly when there is seasonal change from summer to winter and uh, on getting wet in the rain. Okay. So it is. She has a tendency to catch cold. Moment. Moment it it is tendency to catch cold. Then, what is it? Tendency is what? Just now, Kinjal had defined. It's position. Tendency is disposition. Yes, sir. So we we can raise this to disposition. In this disposition. Has features which are opposite to each other. Doctor Manali ne bola tha bhi, ye bhi aur wo bhi. How two things are coming together? Two swords at the same time? Not possible, ho sakta na? Hot bhi hai, lekin ye bhi hai. So obviously it becomes strange. So is it uncommon? Hmm. Okay. और और कुछ है केस में ना इफ दिस बिकम्स अ आइडेंटिटी ऑफ द पेशेंट देन इट कैन गो टू द लेवल ऑफ सिंगुलर बट स्टिल वी डोंट नो अबाउट दैट दैट एवरी टाइम पेशेंट गेट्स अ Exposed and she definitely gets the coriza, right? So uncommon disposition. As you said earlier, any disposition that will always go higher than the symptom. Any other symptom is remaining? Yes. Somebody had said, "Na desire for salt." Any version for sweet? Sweets. Okay. So desire for salt and aversion for sweets. So how do we classify this symptom at what level now? Desire for salt. How many marks? Two marks. And aversion sweet. How many marks? Plus two. Okay, plus two. Hmm. So, do we require to treat these things? These are sold in aversion sweet. No. No. So. So the angel, when we don't need to treat them, then uh, will they be part of uh, uh, our uh, totality or the symptoms? Are the symptoms? If it is not at the level of the symptom, then we should not include in the uh, totality. Yeah, Krishna, what do you say? How much is the desire for salt and aversion for sweet? Uh, salt is also plus two desire, and sweet aversion is also plus two. Okay, so what 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 do we mean by uh, plus two? Hmm. 
uh, that she really likes sweet the intensity is more and she also adds i mean sorry she really likes salt and she adds it from uh, top extra that is more than usual okay so now what go best to say if she likes salt and she has to add to her food then if every okay. day if every day usko uh, extra chahiye dalna hi padta otherwise satisfaction nahi hota to it is treatable it should be treatable need to why it should be treated dependency ho gaya na okay oh hoga to hi satisfaction milega nahi to nahi khana pasand hai okay dusra so extra so does it, become, does it become a symptom then group <clears throat> okay dr sneha says yes then manali says yes and who else okay gaurang says yes okay right so what is the symptom okay sangeeta thank you so what is the symptom symptom is the experience the state of uneasiness of having the suffering having problem manali that uh, symptom is the expression of the disease and disease is what <coughs> Outward manifestation of, of inward deviation. Why, wow, Gauran? You are so quick. So symptom is a. It is a, expressing the state of uneasiness. Whatever is not at ease, if that is required to be treated for the better adaptation in the life, then these are salt and other than sweet, which is of two mark requires to be treated. so uh, what is the level of this uh, symptoms how do we classify them they are peculiar they are physical general what else patient feels like eating it is dispositional feature that is what dr sneha said Doctor Snake, can you just explain how does it become dispositional feature? आप अनम्यूट करके भी डिस्टर्ब कर सकते हैं। Hello. हेलो हाँ जी गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर स्नेहा सो हाउ डज इट बिकम सो डिस्पोजिशन फीचर फर्स्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड इट इज अ सिम्टम नाउ यू आर रेजिंग इट टू द डिस्पोजिशन सो हाउ डज इट बिकम डिस्पोजिशन बिकॉज़ इट इज अ टेंडेंसी दैट विथ एवरी फूड शी लैड द सॉल्ट अंदर्स एंड अंटिल इफ शी डजन ऐड इट विल नॉट टेस्ट ओके so this is the current so and it is also defined okay so again if these are the tendencies then they become dispositional so these are salt and other than sweet dispositional features and if that represent the patient the identity of the patient then they become what kind of dispositional feature peculiar uncommon singular or like hmm yes singular singular yeah. sangeeta yeah singular it means when you are prescribing you can't overlook to this Hmm. Are you getting the importance of the disposition? Yes. And yes. disposition is singular. The the uh, combination is very deadly combination. 
then uh, we cannot uh, sacrifice or overlook that. I, I really appreciate the group is very active and uh, we are getting dispositions, mensi staining, tendency to catch cold, though hot person. Now, when we say tendency to catch a cold, we require to complete in its full quality the tendency to catch cold, whereby though hot patient or sensitive to heat, patient is aggravated by getting wet in rain and cold things. Okay. Anything else that we we can we require to add, uh, Krishna? Hello, Krishna. Are you there? Yes, I am. So, uh, desire salt and aversion sweet both will be dispositional features. They are of the equal uh, values. Okay, Krishna, anything else to be added? Uh, we haven't taken anything from her mind. Okay. What is uh, so specific about mind? Somebody? Uh, about her consolation. Anger Cons is supposed to, okay. Consolation anger. Okay, we are again, we have started putting uh, rubrics. Don't put rubrics. The moment we take rubric, what will happen? We'll be losing the quality of the symptom. Our job is because uh, 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 suggestion is to build up a totality. When we want to build up a totality, can we afford to lose the quality of the patient? No. No. So that is why we should not abbreviate symptom. Consolation aversion. And more so ever, what is happening from consolation? Consolation aggravates. The patient is uncomfortable, doesn't want to be having the consolation, so prefers to remain alone. Cuts off uh, contacts. Okay, so somebody had put across some tendency of the mind. What was that tendency? Tendency to get angry. So patient is disposed to get anger and gets hurt easily. and tendency to get angry. So again, patient is disposed to get angry. And then patient has a peculiar way to react. Doesn't want to talk, doesn't want people to be around, doesn't want any sympathy, consolation, uh, aversion for, and also it aggravates the patient. She prefers to cut off the contacts, relations, for a while, right? <laughs> so that speaks about a peculiar sensitivity of the patient. Who gets affected very easily. So am I on the right track whether uh, this was uh, suggested that we individuality karna or amne samadna what is the problem of the patient? Hello? Was that suggestion? Yes, sir. Okay, Kinjal, thank you. Uh, uh, who had put across this suggestion? I didn't see the name. 
a male voice in the beginning. Hello. Uh, sir, Dr. Nigo Gukani. Ah, Nirubai. Mana, what the boy Janiko like you upon? Thank you very much, sir. Nirubai. Are we on the right track? Yes, sir, but I am getting something new from your side that uh, just you have discussed about the craving salt and you said that whether we want to treat it, so it is uh, something new for me because uh, usually we take the, all the dispositional quality of individualization directly to the totality. Absolutely so, right. Absolutely right. First of all, so, we raise it to the level of disposition. If it is not disposition, obviously you will not take it. So when you are taking at the level of the disposition is, we have a tendency and tendency to get affected. And if that is a tendency, we have to treat it. You, you raised a very beautiful point. Dr. Rudani. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are, are we on the same platform? Are we talking about the same point? Yes, sir. Yes. Huh? Yes, what, yes. What, we are, what we are doing very mechanically that this patient is fastidious and we include that in our total but what makes and what is the need to be fastidious? What made him fastidious? And whether that requires to be corrected? So this is something new for me to learn because uh, I have never understood that the disposition is to be treated because disposition is an individual characteristic with which the person has been born and it cannot be uh, changed, but it is just has to be modified. If it is, uh, uh, it has to be modified. So uh, it is, uh, this point is open for the group and they can share their views. In terms, you can also share your views, uh, what you observed in the OPD. I have agreed with Dr. Nero. Hello. I have absolutely agree with Dr. Nero. Ah, sir, but this voice is very familiar, very familiar. I suppose it is uh, from Dr. Samir. Yes, yes, Dr. Samir. Uh, well, Samir, thank you very much for joining me. Such a senior people in the group today. So, Samir, just please uh, tell a uh, little further about it. I, I absolutely agree with Dr. Nino. We okay. cannot change the disposition. We cannot change the disposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, we have two opinions, Dr. Nirav says and Dr. Samirbhai also says. What group has to say about this? We have seen that the disposition are changing. For example, if you take the salt as a craving and that makes them more sick. For example, I have a patient who is taking extra salts and his perspiration is salty and his uh, ringworm is aggravated by the salty perspiration itching. After the medicine, salt craving is totally normal. Abhi utna level ka craving nahi aara hai wapis. So uska disposition change hua na. For example, if, he, if the patient is easily getting cold, catching cold, if it is, that is the uh, his disposition. And after the medication, that disposition is changing. So, ये हुआ ना कि disposition तो change होता है, medicine से pollute होता है, change होता है. We are treating the disposition. Doctor Pankaj, uh, we have understood that disposition is the quality which the person has been born. That means uh, the since the beginning of the childhood, that person is having this characteristic individuality. So it is an individual characteristic of a person. So how can we change that individuality? This is what the question I have. Mm -hmm. I have understood your, your point that the person who have you have treated have changed the desire. So these desires can be modified. Few people have a craving of pica in childhood. 
because of the calcium uh, problem few people have a craving for sour for certain period of time after that they have changed the craving and craving sweet so these are the modifying uh, uh, physiological need of a individual so whether it is a temporary phase or that, uh, whether it is a disposition it is a question mark what i was talking about the disposition is the individual characteristic with which the person has been born that is why it is called a tendency of a person can i share something on this yeah yeah welcome yeah so firstly disposition if it's a tendency whenever you are going to be exposed to some factors that dispo- that tendency is going to create disease so definitely it has to be treated now when you are giving a medicine and you are treating the tendency it should be modified to such a level that it doesn't create the disease hum uska salt ka craving hatana nahi hata nahi rahe hai but wo salt jo extra le rahi hai jisse aage jaake usko takleef hone wali hai wo hame kam karna hai i am done ha ah, bhai bhai yes same disposition jo position okay, nice. Ah, can i say something yes so, just one minute that disposition should not create this ease it should not make that person ease he or she can have their own traits yes hello hello can i say something yeah yeah go ahead see actually the disposition it can be modified if it is taken from the prescriptive point in the totality this will be only proof in subsequent follow ups when we ask the patient that how much of his tendency to take extra salt whether it's come down or how it is so basically this can be for what disposition modification kitna hua hai how far the remedy is sir can be monitored in follow ups if this particular is taken to the level of a prescriptive prescriptive totality and if that is one thing which is going on i have another question to fir craving aversion lena hi kyu hai jab usko treat hi nahi karna hai kyunki hanuman ne to bola hi nahi hai ki jo treat jo treat nahi karna hai usko totality me lo hanuman ne to bola hai jo treat karna hai usko totality me lo but extra hai aur wo patient ko takleef de raha hai that does it need to get treated yeah The, we are not interested in the story of the patient na ki wo usko kya pasand hai usko open air pasand hai usko ye pasand hai usse usko takleef ho rahi hai to hi hum usko dawai denge na agar usko takleef nahi ho rahi hai to usko totality mein bhi nahi lenge aur na hi usko theek karenge bas i think there are uh, various uh, views that has come up and thank you very much to all for sharing your views very freely there are some points that one point that we require to address is something which is inbuilt how that can be removed it can be modified by various ways isn't it dr rudan it can be verified it can be modified yes, yes, by yes. by training Modified. it can be modified by training it can be modified by explaining it can be modified by giving a a uh, threat to the person that if stop otherwise it will be it will kill you so there are so different ways how person is made to modify or change what is inbuilt that is what dr rudan is putting up to us and dr yes, sanjay yes. also shared uh, his uh, uh, views that this is what is the part of the practice right whereas at the other end dr sneha dr manali they are putting up this the point that uh, we are making totality of symptoms so what will enter into this has to be a symptom and totality of symptom is essence of the disease so obviously whatever will enter here must be connected with the or related with the disease not only related but that is the part of the essential part the core of the disease and so if we are putting data here it means that is the 
very characteristic, essential, important part of the disease that requires to be attended. Now, in both the conditions, we are taking for the consideration of the selection of remedy. What our Dr. Rudan said, that it is a part of the individuality, it is inbuilt, so it is important, we take it. And what, what Dr. Manali and Dr. Sneha is telling, that also we consider that it is the essence of the disease, so we are taking it. Now the point comes up, ultimately we want to apply law of similia. Now law of similia is, it has two parts. One part is what is to be treated in the disease. And the second part is the curative power of the remedy. I'm talking about aphorism number three, as you all know. At the same time, we also know in aphorism number 153 also he has talked about that artificial disease is capable to treat natural disease provided it matches at the level of its striking, singular, uncommon, peculiar symptom. It means curative power and the natural disease both have the relationship. That curative power has to produce such symptoms. They are capable of producing such symptoms. So they are capable of curing the symptom. Now, once we are considering the remedy on the ground of certain uh, data of the patient, I still am not putting symptom or disposition. What are data we are selecting to decide the remedy? So when we are giving that, the remedy, it means remedy was able to produce such data. That is why they are guiding to this remedy. Now, moment they are able to produce such data, then as per law of similar, what will happen? Obviously, it will uh, cure or treat those data on which it was selected. Is, is that it? Yes. Does it mean, uh, look logical or not? Yes, sir. No, Dr. Rudani, Dr. Sneha, Dr. Manali, and others. So can you repeat once? Okay, sure. Which which part? Right from beginning. No, sir. The last part. Last part. The last part is. We know that what is the curative power of remedy. So it is defined as curative power of the remedy is one which it is able to produce in the healthy human being. Barabar, Rudan Sahib? Barabar, sir. Barabar. Barabar. So now, whatever we are, uh, whatever data we are selecting to prescribe a remedy, it means that remedy is capable of producing that data in healthy human being. True. True. So now, if it is capable of producing that, those data in the healthy human being, it means they are capable of curing those things as per yes. of India. Yes. So whatever data you are putting through your totality of symptoms, and that is guiding for your remedy. So remedy has to bring alteration in that. Yes, yes. Yes. So if that is the logic, then remedy which is which one is homeopathic is obviously we, it will take away all the symptoms. It means cure all the, those symptoms, states and disposition which it was able to otherwise produce. Okay, sir. But our, now uh, uh, we don't have much of the time. We had thought to uh, sum up the session at 11 o'clock. Uh, I will just uh, add uh, one or two examples which uh, interns have witnessed in the OPD. We had uh, one uh, young boy of cholecystitis and cholelithiasis when a patient came for the treatment. Uh, very young boy, uh, maybe uh, this case is going on in the OPD since last five, six years. 
uh, what happened that this boy used to have desire for bitter gold. Kitna karela am tha sakte? Hello. Yes, sir. Karela kitna am tha sakte? अरे कोई तो बोलो मेरा आवाज आपके तक पहुंच रहा है क्या सब्जी में होते सर सब्जी में आ ही नहीं सकती सब्जी में अगर तो होगा ना करेला एक दो एक दो खा सकते हैं पूरा करेला एक दो खा सकते हैं यार ब्रेव हाँ ओके सर एक बेक हवाई बराबर नहीं now this patient Every day wants nothing but uh, bitter gold, hmm. and that also in any amount of the quantity that has been given to him. So mother says, "I cook a bitter gold karela, pura taula bhar ke banati hu, and he wants to finish the entire thing." So I said, "You must be putting." Uh, With jaggery, or you must be taking out uh, all the bitter things of the Kerala. He, she said, no, without jaggery, in any form of the, he would love to have food, utensil full Kerala without sharing with anybody. Or one two days ki baat nahi hai. Har roz lao, jitna bhi lao, wo kha jata hai. And Kerala is one one of the expensive vegetable, isn't it? Yes, and uh, this is the story of the patient. I gave remedy number one. Pain went away. Polar sister is Murphy's sign is negative. Patient is better. Desire for Karela still persists. I changed the remedy. I gave the remedy. Patient is better. Patient got fever all episodes in between. That was also better with the remedy, but desire for the Karela persists. I changed third remedy. After that, this boy has grown up, having good height and musculature. And or his general state of health also improved. No more fevers. He was doing quite good. So now I ask him, "What about your desire for bitter gold?" Now he said, "Now he does not want to that extent, but he complained, doctor, do something for my anger. This boy is just fifteen, sixteen years of age now, after five years." doctor you do something for my anger why because this is not good when i am angry i lose my total control and i personally feel that i must improve on this the same anger same person and this awareness was not there rudan sir this is what uh, remedy will bring awareness in the person that where he is feeling uncomfortable that my anger is to be improved so now we change the potency of the remedy and patient said father also came and said that now he does not get space of anger to that extent and he said that i don't want to have bitter gold any more कभी थोड़ा खा लिया तो ठीक है बट अदरवाइज ही डज नॉट इंसिस्ट और ही डज नॉट क्रेव फॉर इट नो लॉन्गिंग फॉर बिटर गोल्ड एंड पेशेंट सेंगर इज ऑल्सो अंडर कंट्रोल पेशेंट इज मच बेटर पेशेंट इज टू डू इज सोनोग्राफी फॉर कॉलर लिथियासिस बट आई सपोज देर मे नॉट बी मच चेंज इन दाइज and i don't want that it should become so tiny that it can cause complication by any chance if it slides 
there are so many such cases that when we have given medicines, patient receives medicine, patient symptoms are better, but when disposition is not better, the moment I, we raise desire, aversion, or any symptom to the level of the disposition, if disposition is not better, patient is not actually restoring back to health. There are so many such experiences. We don't have much of the time, but when we meet again on Saturday, what do you say? Should we continue to meet on Saturdays? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Raise your hands if you are in. Yes, sir. Whether today's discussion was helpful, helpful. Thank you very much. So we are not concluding the case. We have begun the case as suggested by Dr. Rudani and Dr. Sharma. So we have found out what are the characteristic symptoms. You may alter to what we have uh, derived here. If you agree to this, you continue with this and make the totality of symptom. Uh, can you, uh, Dr. Pankaj, can yes. you display that uh, paragraph that Dr. Manali has uh, sent you? Yes, sir, just a second. She briefed the case, entire case, right? Uh, no, no, paragraph hai. Can you just copy and paste here? Yes, just and you can save this slide, whatever you have made. Some of you are so glad to see you here. It seems that I am on the highway. I could not see it. But even then, you are with us. It is such a privilege yeah, yeah. for us you to have with us. Driving car on the highway. So I cannot take empty parts. Sorry for that. Okay, people, uh, you, you may take a screenshot of this uh, and then uh, you, you may al make necessary alteration and derive your totality. Work out the case further. And we have how many remedies? Sepia, Netramure. Bryonia, Arsenal, Ignatia, and Ignatia. So you have such suggestion, you may get some more remedies. And for sure, next time, uh, we'll conclude the case. And uh, Krishna, are you there? Yes. Okay, can you show uh, other... Uh, 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 Okay, I, I'm sure you cannot show. There's a difficulty, okay. Uh, but we'll circulate uh, other pictures of the lesions in the follow-up that we have received. Okay. So we will work out the case, differentiate remedies from Matilda Medica, and we'll follow anyone anyway guidelines and we see that uh, what we do we learn from Anyone learn fundamentals by sharing with each other? Yes, sir. Any other suggestions or uh, points which people would like to say? Yes, participant can use the chat box or unmute their mic, please. There is one small uh, point that I have received that this uh, entire uh, exercise that we are taking up is. Uh, on the request of uh, students for students of homeopathy uh, to meet with the expenses, uh, this entire uh, sessions are kept absolutely free. They are free for students, interns, and teachers. 
but there is voluntary contribution of rupees hundred per session per every Saturday session. So if you feel like contributing so that such activity continues, then uh, we will uh, circulate the detail of the bank and you may uh, continue to uh, share your uh, contributions over there. It is not compulsory. Compulsory is uh, learning through sharing. Yes. Compulsory is that we go on meeting. But it is a voluntary contribution from practitioners and well-wishers so that such activity continues. This is on uh, this is activity which is supported by homeopathy for our charity, Hanuman and Gurukul, and homeopathic panacea clinics. We will meet again yes. on Saturday night at 9.30. <coughs> and uh, please uh, check your uh, WhatsApp box for the further details. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. If you have any suggestions, questions, or uh, comments, please send it to my personal uh, uh, WhatsApp or to uh, Dr. Pankaj Vainakwani. My uh, WhatsApp number is 9833 